circumstances and things have taken a toll. Lawsuits and accusations have taken a toll. Tell the truth. Joe, was Russell Simmons an accomplice in Diddy's crimes? It looks like Kamora Lee is also blasting Russell Simmons after Diddy's entire mess with Cassie. Now, in case you didn't know, back in 2017, Russell was slapped with multiple SA lawsuits by a bunch of women, with the youngest being just 17. But just before any of the cases could go to trial, trial, he jetted off to Indonesia to avoid criminal charges and hasn't returned to the States ever since. I'm just tired of the mind games. I'm tired of all the manipulation. I'm tired of the lies. You should be saying thank you. Thank you that I've never exposed your ass. Spoken out about you and the things that you've done and the way that you are, you should thank me. Now, as most of y'all already know by now, Cassie ended Diddy a few days ago when she slapped him with an explosive $30 million lawsuit, accusing him of physical and psychological abuse and S.A. She also accused him of trafficking her, getting her hooked on substances, and forcing her to engage in encounters with other men while he recorded and blackmailed her. Of course, Diddy denied the allegations, but he ended up settling the lawsuit within just 24 hours. But after Cassie's lawsuit went viral, a lot of people started pointing out how disturbingly similar it was to Kimora and Russell's relationship. Because just like Cassie, Kimora was still a minor when Russell started courting her. Kimora was just 16 years old and in her sophomore year in high school, while Russell was 35. And after four years of dating, Russell married Kimora when she was just 22 and he was 41. They welcomed their first child, Ming Li, in the year 2000, and their second, Aoki Li, in 2002. But in 2008, Kimora filed for a divorce citing irreconcilable differences before eventually finalizing it in 2009. At the time, people didn't think too much of it because she still seemed cordial with him after their divorce. That was until 2017, when Russell was accused of essaying multiple women, one of them being model Carrie Clausen, who said that Russell essayed her nice back thing. in 1991 when she... Russell was in the picture with Weinstein? Oh, yeah. Most definitely. He's part of that uh, get along gang. He was just 17. Carrie said Russell was showing her a music video at his apartment when he began taking her clothes off, forced her to perform oral on him, and then essayed her while his partner, Brett Ratner, watched. She said, I looked over at Brett and said, help me. And I'll never forget the look on his face. In that moment, the realization fell on me that they were in it together. But as expected, Russell denied it and said his encounter with Carrie was completely consensual and with Carrie's full participation. But it only gets worse from here because after this, a bunch of other victims also came forward to expose him, one of them being Sherry Hines, who was a member of the rap group Mercedes Ladies. She said in an interview, I was trying to maneuver and get out of it. He just held me down. Next thing I know, my pants were down and he was having his way. I felt embarrassed. I felt used, worthless. The way I felt at the time was, I can't believe this man just violated me like I was nothing. He was also accused of SA by five other women, including an executive at Def Jam Records, who said Russell used to constantly harass her at work and make explicit advances. But as as usual, he kept denying it and claiming that all of these encounters were consensual. But of course, nobody believed a word he was saying because it was obvious he was just trying to save his public image. And just before any of these women could drag him to court, he fled off to Indonesia. Now, for those of y'all who don't know, Indonesia has no extradition treaty with the U.S., which means he's a free man until he comes back to the U.S. However, it looks like these women were not his only victims because his own family ended up blasting
blasting him on social media for being abusive. It all started when their daughter Ming posted a photo of Kimura on her IG stories on Father's Day, wishing her a happy Father's Day. This triggered Russell to the core, and he fired back at Ming on his IG story, seemingly blaming Kimura for being the reason he has a bad relationship with his kids. He said, stop telling fathers they should have fought harder to see their children and start asking mothers why he had to fight at all. But Aoki did not let this slide because she posted a muted screen recording of Russell screaming at her like a madman while they were on FaceTime. She also revealed that Russell would often call her boyfriend, friends, and other people around her and verbally them as well. This is not someone who will accept help. This is just one screen recording. Sorry, I don't always remember to press record when he calls my friends, my boyfriend, anyone to get a chance to threaten and curse and go crazy. Aoki also leaked some DMs between her and Russell where she told him, Dad, I stopped talking to you because you were giving me panic attacks to the point where I was placed on emergency medication every time we spoke. I cannot have a relationship with you until that stops. No one stops me from talking to you. My health does. I have to put that first. But Russell completely disregarded what she said and went off on her for siding with Kimura instead of him. At this point, Kimura was over Russell's BS and she went on an explosive rant herself and called him out for being abused and threatening the life of their kids. He even went as far as threatening to blackball them from Hollywood. She said, the same ab ish this is how you maneuver with the world and women all around you your threats and lies and intimidation maneuvers and tactics are sad you said aoki and ming would never work again and that you would ruin her oh but kimura was not done she hopped on ig live and exposed russell for grooming her when she was still a child and forcing her to marry him i was a very young um, probably too young, a uh, bride. I ha I met this person when I was, um, in high school in St. Louis, Missouri. I was modeling. I was 16 years old. Like, I've known you and everybody knows. Again, that's documented. You can see. Uh, I believe I was maybe a sophomore. I know it was before junior prom and senior prom because I went to both of those proms alone with my friends when I was dating them. So it was definitely long before junior and senior prom. I think it was around sophomore year of high school. And again, everybody knows this in my life. You know, they know they, I was walking around, they see me. The point of it is I've known you a long time and I've seen lots of stuff and I just choose to not go there. She called out Russell for acting like they're one big happy family on social media, even though he cut his kids off and refuses to speak to them. Um, but it's funny how this particular person, if you again go look back, you'll see on their page that they post all these pictures like we're together, like we're friends. They've even posted pictures and then said like, I just got off the phone with my kids. They sent me this great picture. None of that's true. I think the bottom line, like probably the breaking point for all of this was uh, over the past many months um, when their dad just sort of cut them off. They post pictures of my kids from years ago, making you think that they're right there, right down the street right now, going through all this stuff. You know, you can look, you can gauge the date, you can see the comments, you can see they're blocked. We don't talk to them. These are all lies. They've been through so much. Um, don't attack my my family which is supposed to be your family too come on Hey. Also exposed Russell for lying about being rich, even though he's broke and has been depending on her for years. Thank me that I've helped you support your business. Every single person that works in your company, I can name them by name. 
I have paid for them on payroll, every person that's in your house right now, for years, and I have receipts. To the tunes of millions, you should say thank you. This also explains why he ran off to Indonesia, because he knew he didn't have the money nor connections to fight all the lawsuits. Now, just weeks after the SA allegations flooded the news, he sold all of his properties in the U.S. and went to Bali to start a new life. If you go to his IG, you can see that he's completely reinvented himself into this ultra peaceful yoga teacher or something even though we all know he's the exact opposite he's even been sharing posts about love and spirituality which a lot of people claim is very similar to what diddy's been doing after diddy messed up other people's lives and traumatized them he rebranded himself to love combs to trick people into thinking he's an all loving peaceful family guy i'm just i'm just not who I am before I'm something different so my new name is love aka brother love Diddy's former bodyguard Gene Deal also revealed that he was trying to pitch a tell-all book about Diddy Jay-Z and Russell to some publishing companies but they told him he was free to write about Russell but he was forbidden from talking about Diddy people was disgusted on how Jay-Z came and Puff is coming out for Russell Simmons. They told me they couldn't go out to Puff, but they could go out to Russell Simmons. Those people knew that Russell Simmons was on the chopping block and something was going on. And with Kimura revealing all these details about Russell, people think everything and everyone is connected in this mess. And it just goes very deep. Now, as usual, people had a whole lot to say. Like this person who said, what's done in the dark always comes to the light. He is a straight evil monster and he needs to pay for his actions. Now, not later. Too much evidence against him too many people are coming out men and women that had dealings with him in some kind of way or another another person said this explains all the meditation and spirituality in russell's tv appearance that man hates his daughters and abuses women but now i want to know your thoughts what do y'all think about kimura and her kids putting russell on blast and do you think russell and diddy are all a part of the same club y'all know what to do let me know your thoughts